So in the last video, we said how we can configure the Cloudinary and just require it here to be ready to work with it and make the upload method. But we have two typos here that we need to fix before we go on, which is I forgot to put here the Cloudinary word. And here I forgot to say process dot env. Now everything is ready, we will save. And actually, we can now upload, but of course there is a method for upload. But before we do that, we have to go to make a form on the client side. And through this form, we will send an Axios request with a file that we have. Let us f first make the form. And I actually have a React fragment here, in which I'll put the form. I've copied that from the snippets because we do not uh, just have to create the form from the beginning. Let me explain to you the form. The form has an on submit a function and it has a label for the input which ha which says upload your photo here and an input which is of the type file and it has an ID which is any can be anything and then on a change function it which will have a handle change a uh, function that we will identify here uh, before the return and it also has a button to submit the form so let's now make the um, so let's say maybe file and set file this is the user state something we will uh, just like uh, update uh, this state once we we download a file and just like uh, show it to you to see what is the file that we have and how it is shaped and let's make here a handle change function which has a an event sorry we have a typo so in the handle change we will console.log the event to target dot files because the file will be on the files of the target and we will set the file here to be the e.target.files of course the we will we will just like uh, comment this right now because we want to see what are the files because we will not take all what's in the files we will only take the file inside that so this is the handle submit and let's make another one for sorry this is the handle change let's make another one for the handle submit there will be no e here and we will just put it like that and we will not put anything inside it until we see our form and we see what will happen when we change anything that happens in this input let's see that on the client side like that let's see if we have any no we have we don't have any errors so this is good I'm using bootstrap by the way just like uh, to make things look like that and let me also put just like a container okay so we have here an upload method and we can show the file for example this image here and now this is what appears so when you handle the change and you come to see what is the target that you pressed you will see that you pressed these files and what are the files what it consists of it consists of a file list which has a zero uh, it's just, just like a, a zero key and the zero key has a file and the file has some information like the name the side of the file the type and everything else so you do not need the the the, the files itself you, you just need this one so here we will just say zero so let's see what will happen here if i made it again like that 
nothing happen because we will have to refresh now you have the file you have a name and a size and everything so this is the file that you will need so we can say that this is called file here And it will be equal to that and let's say that to show this file right now before we upload anything to the uh, cloudinary to show it here we need to convert this file to something readable by JavaScript so this is not currently readable because if we try to put this as an image here it will not be put as an image you need a reading file system which is actually provided by the file system api from the mdn mozilla developer network we will see that let's see that right now 